What's up guys, ETS here, welcome back. And today I am doing a collection tour. I know it's been a while, but I just wanna show you guys what my collection looks like now. And also, so I can kinda of look back in the future and see what I had. So let's take a look at what I got. All right, just starting off, as you can see in the background, we have two Pokemon Center Astral Radiance Elite Trainer boxes. Right above them, if you can see that, I have two Brilliant Stars ones as well. And on the right, I have the, um, what's it called? Pokemon Set, not Pokemon Center, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Center, Elite Trainer Boxes. It's a tongue twister, but those are all my Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes. Um, I believe, yeah, they're, they're all about retail value right now. They haven't really gone up much, so nothing too crazy there. Over on the left, you can see that Champion's Path Elite Trainer Box. Those are around 100 right now, so um, yeah, it's 100-ish also. This is completely unrelated to Pokemon, but I have two World Cup, um, which is soccer, um, hobby boxes. So these are sports cards, but I have two of those. I count them as part of my collection, so those are around like 450-ish each. But I think those are a very good hold if anyone is into soccer out there. Those are definitely two. Um, I think those are good products to get into. With Especially with the World Cup in 2026 being in the United States. But I'll save that for another time. What else do we have? I have this Costco. I believe this is the Kanto Friends like mini tin box. There's five of these in here. I have no idea how much this box is worth, but according to Collector, which that's the app I use to uh, track everything, apparently these, these are worth like, <clears throat> I think it says like close to $100, but I, I'm not sure if I believe it, but, oh, but I am sell, trying to sell this. I'm also selling, actually all the Elite Trainer boxes back there I'm going to sell. I will talk about why I am selling them in a few minutes. Uh, what else do we have? So here is a random um, Celebrations graded pack I have. PSA 9. <clears throat> so the story behind the this pack. So I had 25 of these recently. 25. Um, 12 of them were PSA 10. 10 of them were PSA 9 and 3 were PSA 8. And I graded them all myself. And I actually got, well, I opened Celebration stuff to get them. And I set them all in, and I've been selling them. I've been selling the nines for around $40, tens for like 70 to 100 what One of the eights actually sold for 60 somehow, but I'll get into that later. Basically, I was testing out to see if I can make money from selling them, and it turns out you can. So, um,. Yeah, if you got loose celebrations packs sitting around, consider um, grading them and selling them because they go for a lot more than you think. However, the market is going down. But let's move on. Over here, we have each of the first partner packs Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, Kalos. Alola, uh, what's it called, Galar, and the Pikachu binder. So those, nothing special. I'm also selling those to fund a purchase. Um, What else do we have? Oh, here's a big one. All right, so this does not fit on screen. But what this is, is a sealed case of Charizard, a sealed case of Charizard Ultra Premium Collections. So there's four of them in that box. It is sealed. I way overpaid for that because I pre-ordered it. And unfortunately, I spent 800 on that box and now it's worth 400. So you win some, you lose some. I actually might sell it to fund this purchase I'm talking, I've been hyping up, but 
Yeah, let's talk about that now. So getting into that purchase I've been talking about, here is a hint. So I have a Diamond Pearl Blister here. I have Mysterious Treasures one. Secret Wonders. Green Encounters. Majestic Dawn. Legends Awakened and Stormfront. They're all sealed. I spent around 1500 to get them all. But what I want to do, with all the stuff I'm selling, I want to get the black and white ones and the platinum blisters. So that's my goal this summer. I'm going to try and get those. Uh, you can follow my progress on Instagram. I post a lot of my collection stuff there. So you guys can check that out. Oh, you guys are going to like this one. So you guys remember I have this tin right here. So that's the Napoleon tin. What I also have, I now have the Torterra tin. Not only just the Torterra tin, I also have the Infernape. I have all three. Even though the Infernape is a little shitty with the wrapping, I have all three of them. They're all sealed. They're beautiful. Th this, like, I don't think I'm ever selling these right here, especially the Napoleon one. All right, I got a couple slabs to show you guys. First off, we have a uh, special delivery Bidoof. This is the one I got myself, sent it in, and got a nine. I also have a Reshram Full Art from Black and White. I got this on eBay for 30 bucks, sent it in, and it was a PSA nine, so good deal for me. Also have Empoleon Alternate Art from Battle Styles. Uh, this is one of my favorite Empoleon cards. I bought this from someone um, before it got graded. I sent it in, and it's PSA 10, so good purchase by me again. And this is probably my most expensive piece of my collection right here. CGC 7 Gold Star Charizard. This card is beautiful. I love Dragon Frontiers, so love to have this in my collection, which I do. And I almost sold it. I'm glad I didn't because... This card just so good. And let's open up my little card box here, see what I have inside. All right, let's go through this. This is a bunch of junk. Well, not junk, but um, Dark Eye from Crown Zenith. A couple soccer cards with like signed ones. Um, Polyon Level X, Infernape, Torterra. Those are the promos. If you don't know, Empoleon is my favorite Pokemon. That's why this is in here. Seven Scorch. Tag Team Promos. This is actually a pretty clean Zapdos from Majestic Dawn. It actually came with... Um, it came with the Majestic Dawn uh, Blister Pack, actually. Stellar threw it in there. Urshifu. Charizard Promos from the Ultra Premium Collection. Empoleon. And Arceus V Promo. Also in that box, we have a Rush Ram I sent in, PSA 8. Random Thunders I bought, it was like 10 bucks, so I was like, why not? And another Rush Ram from Legendary Treasures. And last but not least, we are going to get into the fun part, my Level X cards. So first we have, and this is in no particular order, my CGC Gallade. You guys already know this one was graded, but what's fun is that all the level X cards got graded. So this is kind of the return video. I already know the grades. You guys don't. So you guys are going to see what they graded. Dark Ride got an 8. I'm happy with that one. Overall, I think I did decent. But a lot of these cards... I didn't look the, too good at them before sending it. Dialga got a 7. I thought that one would get an 8. But 7, I'll take this is not the same Empoleon that I um, purchased in that Level X video, if you can tell. This one is actually a Pokebody error. You can see um, there, here it says Pokebody, but it's actually red text. 
This is PSA 9. I bought this recently and I sold the PSA. Well, the one I sent in got a PSA 5. So, yeah, that would be why. Fern Ape got PSA 8. Happy with that one. Torterra got PSA 8. Another good one. And here's where it starts to go downhill. Pokio got a 5. So I'm just going to grab a bunch of these. Cresselia got a 5. Porygon Z got a 5. Glaceon got a 7, which is good. I honestly thought it would get a 6 or lower, but it got a 7. Magmortar got a 5. Yeah, you guys can see what went wrong here. Lucario got a 5. That was probably the worst condition one, though. There's nothing lower than a 5, just to tell you guys. But Electivire got a 6. I think that's fair. Leafeon got an 8. This is probably my... Actually, it might be the most expensive one I have. Because I believe that's around 250 ish Napoleon and Charizard... Uh, well, spoilers. Napoleon and Charizard are close in price, I think. You'll see what Charizard got soon. Garchomp got an 8. Happy with that. And Gardevoir got a 5. Champ got a 5. Regigigas, uh, Regigigas got a 6. Raichu got a 5. Raichu is pretty bad. Heatran got a 7. Pretty good. Eight for Dust Noir. And a five for Honchkrow. I don't know how Honchkrow got a five, but whatever. And we are not close to done. We're not even halfway. Salmon's got a seven. Solid. We got Arceus with an eight. That is Arceus 94. RC 95 also got an 8. And RC 96 got a 5. I saw a dent on that, so that's a fair grade. Tangrowth, 5. Smagus, 8. Alkazam got a 5. The other Electivire got a 7. Staraptor with an 8. Quasar with a 5, which I am really disappointed about. I thought this card was better condition. I don't know what... Wait. Oh. Yeah, you guys can see what's wrong with it. A little dent there. That is the issue, I believe. That is why I got a 5. I didn't notice it before sending in. Here's Charizard. Charizard got an 8. Guy who sold me this told me it would get a 9. I knew it was an 8, but... I mean, 8's pretty good. Other guard tribe got an eight. Blazekin got a five. Absol got a five. Unfortunately, we got a lot of fives, but I'm not that upset. Clay score, um, six. Right, Perrier, five. Oopsie, which I thought would get a 9, actually got a 6. No idea how or why. It's a mystery. Azelf got an 8. Mesper also got an 8. U2 with an 8. I'm happy about that one. Magnezone was a 6. Shaman, 8. Get some others. Creepy on an 8. Polkia with a 7. Giratina with an 8. Diago with an 8. And other Shaman with an 8. 
Overall, Platinum base set, I think, did the best out of all the sets I sent in. I think it was all eights in that one seven. But Infernape got a seven. Floatzel got a seven. Snorlax got a five. Paladon, eight. Flygon got an eight. I'm happy about that one because this card is. Probably one of my favorite level X's. Love Flygon also. Here's a Luxray. You guys already knew this was a six. And the final card, Gengar, also got a six. So I think that is it for my collection for now. I am definitely purchasing some more stuff soon. I will try and update you guys, but we will see. Make sure to follow my Instagram. I'm more active on there. So that's it for now. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. But for now, goodbye.